everybody, it's Ashley, Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. We're located in Colfax, North Carolina. We are by appointment only, and you can reach me at 828-773-4500. So this is a 8414 RWS Stampede. This is a four horse, 14 foot short wall with a slide, eight wide, seven six tall, Murhow. So this is an 8414 2023 Murhow. It is white in color. It does have the graphics package. It does have a power awning on this side. I'm actually on the wrong side of the trailer to be starting off, but nevertheless, it does have a hay rack and a generator stand. <clears throat> it does not have a generator on board at this point. That being said, I don't believe it's pre-wired for a generator, but I can double check that and it will be listed in the list of items when this trailer is listed for sale. So, a couple of things I'm going to actually bypass through underneath the neck and go to the other side. It does have dual hydraulic jacks, two propane tanks, the Jiffy Jack spare lockable aluminum battery box it does have a stainless nose sorry guys i'm gonna kind of step through and move around all right moving to the other side you can actually see the slide box on this side it's got drop down windows on the head side with bars three major storage boxes underneath those windows, escape door with flip up step, the extended ladder that goes with that hay rack, so extend a ladder, <clears throat> does have aluminum wheels, it does have an upgraded hot water heater to 10 gallon. does have a collapsible rear tack. The extruded, which is the ribbed aluminum here on the side. Load lights on all three sides with switches. So you've got a load light here um, placed on both sides of the trailer with switches. It is a 60-40 <clears throat> rear doors. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Brush box does have a swing out saddle pad rack. Those racks are um, you know, smaller there on that 40 foot, 40 inch door. So it doesn't hold the huge, gigantic, longer pads, but it does hold the smaller ones, especially the, um, any English pads, it'll definitely hold four tier saddle rack, bridle hooks, and that is um, collapsible. And that saddle bar does come out. This trailer does um, fit a golf cart quite well. You need to haul a golf cart you got plenty of room 18 inch mangers gives you that ample room for your horse and for other items that you were to haul in here so it's nice big airy open with the airflow dividers padded dividers has a lower divider fully lined and insulated with roof vents led lights on the inside big slider windows on the rear so hard to show you guys this in the video, but this is a huge horse box. Our horse boxes in the Murhouse are super big, all rounded edges. Um, can't say enough good things about the horse box. Have a lot of good customer response on the horse box. Had some customers look at a trailer this weekend and a lot of comments in the, regards to how big it is in the back. Um, they really like the 60-40 split. Empty weight on this trailer, 11,466. So 11,466. Show you the front of these mangers. Um, this is a nice padded and then a nice rounded edge here in the front of this chest area where the horse goes.
come on back around where I already was before. I'm gonna step into the LQ. You see that load light there on this side. Power awning, I think I said that. Stepping up in the LQ, this is a 14 foot RWS. Let me put an expanded for you. So this gives you a couch and a dinette. So the riser wall would be the steps up to the bed. Huge bed area. You could put definitely put a bigger mattress if you'd like or choose. There's cabinets there behind. Um, the pillows there that have hanging bars as well as some storage, a little bit of storage for blankets and whatnot. Um, it does have hookup for a TV here in the bed area if you'd like. I do always suggest that you could put a tension rod here across if you wanted to do some kind of, let me back up a second. Oh, I kicked the, kicked the carbon monoxide detector. All right. Great. Now it's going to do it through my whole video. So... Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Big blooper today. So <clears throat> let me go back. I'm too far in to stop. So you can put a tension rod here if you wanted to put some kind of curtain for some privacy. Uh, by the way, don't kick the carbon monoxide detector. It doesn't like that. All right. So steps up to the bed. That couch does make a bed. One of my favorite things about the Stampedes is the storage space that you do get underneath you get the whole deck let me back up the whole deck to do storage underneath there the next gens have drawers which are super nice but limited to what you can put weight wise and storage wise where you have this whole deck that you could actually put i don't know all kinds of stuff in there and actually put some kind of containers and whatnot so i think it's a definitely in the stampede you have more storage space that would be just a observation of mine um <clears throat> based on just seeing storage and trailers. So spinning on around um, has a rear kitchen, which has, I'm gonna step up, has a double sink, two burner gas top stove, <clears throat> pollen today, y'all. This does have the dinette that makes a bed as well. You've got cabinets here above the couch. The storage as well. Um, underneath the dinette is going to be the same. So it's that whole deck area underneath that you have for storage. Again, in the next gen, it would have been drawers. I love the dark walls. Um, just really looks good in this trailer. They are soft touch. All right, spinning on around over here in the corner um, you've got a convection microwave big fridge I already said that two burner gas top stove you've got a flip up counter which is super nice for preparing food or having extra storage or not storage but extra space when you're in your kitchen um, I think I no can't, I don't think I did. So this is a ducted AC, ducted AC propane furnace, and it does have a heat strip. All that um, works here on a controller that's very similar to a home controller where you can actually put it on auto and it will generate the air and heat to the temperature that you desire. Cabinets up above uh, the dinette there and that storage goes completely across that uh, area in the slide box and gives you a lot of good storage there as well. A little bit of storage underneath the um, TV. That TV is on a swing arm and you can move that TV around to see it better. All right, and stepping in the bathroom, you'd be quite surprised with the, it doesn't have a walk-in closet, but that closet there to your right is deep and huge and has a hanging bar. So I'm gonna open those doors up in just a second. Actually as well, you have a huge sink and vanity, um, big 
actually storage underneath. I'll open that up now and just kind of show you the storage underneath there. And actually this sink um, and vanity is quite deep, goes all the way in uh, for storage there and gives you a lot of room. And here you've got the rounded dome shower, skylight, it's got a fantastic fan. All right, let me kind of show you this cabinet. Again, it's quite huge. Um, it's kind of hard for me to explain. It's another one of those that I could probably get in there. You could shut the doors and you never see me. So if that, that helps you, um, it's very deep, has a nice hanging bar at the top, but has a lot of storage in there. I mean, I could totally see someone putting some shelves of some kind in there that they wanted um, or some storage containers, some drawers there on the bottom would be what I would do. So, a lot of great storage in that closet. Does have a walk-through door. All right, so I'm going to do a slow spin around the whole trailer again in the expanded. Guys, I do the expanded so you can kind of see the layout. I definitely don't do it to try to give you a false sense of space. Um, it's just hard in the unexpanded to really truly see what the trailer looks like. But I will tell you, there's a lot of space in this trailer. If you need to sleep multiple people, you've got the extra sleeping spaces here, bed and dinette, couch and dinette, excuse me. And then of course the bed up in the nose. I kind of step up on the step. Sorry about the jiggle. All right, guys. So before I go outside in the wind, where you'll be hard to hear me, 8414 RWS Stampede. Um, this would be the layout with the steps up to the bed area, couch and dinette, four horse. Eight wide, seven six tall. Stepping out, stepping back. One more view. Super pretty trailer. All right, guys. Carolina Trailer Sales. CarolinaTrailerSales.com. We're located in Colfax, North Carolina. We are by appointment only. Eight two eight seven seven three four five zero zero. My name is Ashley. You guys have a great day.